So it looks like Beyonce's former creative director, choreographer, Frank Gaston's in hot water with the Beehive after he posted a birthday wish to Rihanna and said that she had the best of anyone's Super Bowl performance. Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So I was minding my business, and Frank Gaston decided to, to just throw fire and, and gasoline on, on his entire situation. No, no, no. Because you know how the beehive is. You you dare to say anything against Beyonce. And they are. But you know, we, we, we cover it all when it comes to Beyonce. When she's getting backlash. When she's doing amazing things. Well, Frank Gaston decided on his social media to post, you know, it's Rihanna's birthday. And he posted this saying, happy birthday, bad gal Riri. I have to say, you have you have done the best Super Bowl of anyone in my book. Lies, the lies. <laughs> I always knew you were a true superstar the moment we met. So proud of you. Enjoy your day. I can't wait to see where you go from here. So you know the Beehive were like, the best one? Not when we got Beyonce. My social media presence is my bread and butter, okay? So you can't just use me for social media and not. So here's some of the things that people are saying, though, about Frank Gaston on social media. Probably Beehive members. And again, we don't know how, if these this information is true or not, but these are the, the accusations of the Beehive. One person says, Frank always got be sued because he was copying people's ideas. Instead of being bitter about getting fired, he should take accountability. Mm, you remember the, those moments from Beyonce. We won't do a throwback on a Tuesday. Another person who's obviously a part of the Beehive says, uh, they retweeted what someone else said and where the person says, not Frank Gaston still bitter and pressed almost a decade ago since he was fired. Another person says, fun fact, TLC also fired him. He was supposed to choreograph the creep video because they hated the choreo and he was acting like he was better than them because he worked with In Vogue. So the girls fired him, allegedly. Another person added, wasn't Frank Gaston the same one who set J-Lo up by giving her Beyonce's partition set and choreo? He's been nasty since he got the chop. One person by the name of John says, you reaching now, you know, no one tops Queen Beyonce. Happy birthday, Riri. He responds to this person and says, Beyonce is not hurt. Beyonce and I always would disagree on what is good and what is not. But mostly, we both believe in pure magic. That's why I worked with her so long. I was always honest about my opinion. I will never say something just to please an artist. Artists need the truth and other opinions to be great. That's why Beyonce is on the great island alone. Okay. She can handle a grown man opinion. That's why I have so much respect for her. She does the work with no drama like the people in, on this post. Thank you, sir, for your, your honest thoughts, by the way. Another person says, that's a far reach. Beyonce had the best halftime performance since Michael Jackson and Prince. Frank responds and says, that's your opinion. This is my opinion. Things change. I did the Beyonce Super Bowl. Okay. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on, Frank. You ain't got to, you know, just stunt on us. Don't stunt on us. He says, this is my opinion. Things change. I did the Beyonce Super Bowl. That's great also. Here is my rating. Ja Janet Jackson is number two. Oh, this is interesting. Beyonce is number three. And Michael Jackson is number four. Beyonce, Bruno Mars, and Coldplay, which was really Coldplay's um, performance. Woo, 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 Coldplay. You're so great. Was number five. He says, I have the right to my opinion when it comes to m my rating system. Rihanna's Super Bowl was flawless. I didn't want it to end. I think he was trying to say. Up with the people is number six. Got it. This video is brought to you by Atlas VPN. So, as you know, I love to travel and... As a part of my job, it's important for me to be able to watch some of my favorite shows even when I'm away. 
So even during my recent trip to Denmark, I had to use Atlas VPN because there are certain shows that you're relying to hear, hear about while I'm away. But there's also shows that I just want to watch. And if you're watching this, you and our community love watching TV. And we love watching TV even if you're abroad and depending on where you are. So Atlas VPN is perfect. You probably have heard about other VPN services, but I, I'm very impressed with Atlas. Atlas is running a limited time special right now. So grab the big deal because now Atlas VPN Premium is just $1.83 per month plus three months extra. And with a 30 day money back guarantee, you can't beat this deal. All of this information will be available in the description. But let me remind you, so with Atlas VPN, you can do a variety of things, not just watch shows that might be in another country. It does more than that. And honestly, very much like you, all I ever thought VPNs did was allow you to watch shows in other places. No, with Atlas VPN, you're able to unlock your favorite content from all over the world, as you already know, keep your Google searches in private, very important, especially nowadays, stop ads and malware, save some coins while shopping online as well, and protect unlimited devices. That part is really important too because you probably see all these other subscription services saying, oh, it's going to be an extra charge for this or an extra charge for that. Not with Atlas VPN. Right now, Atlas VPN is running a massive discount. So grab the big deal because now Atlas VPN Premium is just $1.83 per month plus three months extra. And with a 30 day money back guarantee, you can't beat this deal. So you can try it out for a month and if it doesn't work, you'll get your money back. For more information on Atlas VPN, you can find that in the description and in the comment section of this video. And thank you Atlas for supporting our channel. And I can't wait to keep on using Atlas VPN. There's a couple of shows that I gotta watch. Someone else says, no need to explain yourself. You're Frank Gadsden. He says, I just want young people to open up to the truth and honesty about show business. Show business is not like real life. It is a show. Rihanna changed the game with that performance at this year's Super Bowl. Here goes some sarcasm. I know girls who own expensive handbags with cavities. That's not right. So my opinion about the show business, about show business matters. I have done the business of show since 1972. Respect it and don't make it personal because it's not. It's my creative opinion. Thank you, Lacey Mason Music, for the respect. Most entertainers today don't even hold the microphone the right way. But Rihanna, Beyonce, and Brandy does because I taught them. I'm saying this in my humble voice, by the way. But he doesn't end there. He responds to someone else and he says, Dancers were clean and flawless. They really were. I mean, shout out to Paris. She did an amazing job with that group. And shout out to all the dancers. They, they really were flawless. And to see all of these TikTokers recreate those dance moves were amazing. He says, dancers were clean and flawless. Arrangements of songs were perfection. I have to agree with him there. You know, when we talked about this, I, I loved the way that they did the mix of the vocals and everything. The band appeared out of nowhere amazing. Usage of the space was A1. It had to be. I did a separate video talking about how the, this was all plotted and planned in space. I'm going to put the links to all of that so you guys can understand a little bit more about what he's saying here. To use all of that great space in the air was brilliant. They had to. Uh, Rihanna was staged well. Rihanna was confident. Rihanna came from chill and honest place. I'm pregnant. I'm going to get this done. She did the entire 13 minutes just herself, band and dancer and great director. Set design A1. I never wanted the number, number to end. The colors were fresh. Red always pops on any stage. Great choices with dancer's wardrobe. She was 200 feet in the air and did not seem worried. She was harnessed in. I'm going to post that video so you guys can get a full understanding of what was happening. Great performance. I have more great notes, but the performance was flawless. You don't have to do things at 100 to be great. That is, a, that is a powerful message. That is a powerful message. I'm going to give him that. He says, you don't have to do things at 100 to be great. And that's been Rihanna's thing her entire career. She's never been one of those, like the, the, the dancer that would get in your face or the vocalist that would necessarily get in your face. Yes, we have songs where she does do that, but her tone alone is what set Rihanna apart. 
He then says, chill works too. It's like making great love without being aggressive but loving. No argument here, just facts. Professionalism at its best. Epic. And you know what? I'm glad that he said all of this. Because when I first saw the headline, I was like, Frank, are you just trying to get the, the, the beehive riled up? You know how they are. But Frank, let's put some respect on his name. He did work with Beyonce and many others before Beyonce, remember in Vogue, for a very long time. For a very long time. So I love to give respect to the people that have been doing this for a long time. Here's the thing, though. I do disagree that it is the best uh, that he's seen. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to... Like, let me look at his rating again. Hold on. Yeah, I'm not going to rate Rihanna's performance as the best. Even, even, even with everything that he's outlined. Yes, I, I feel like the imagery, the dancing, the music... Yes, but this is his opinion. But in my opinion, I would not rate it as the best. Beyonce is definitely going to be up there, probably in the top three. I literally rewatch Michael Jackson's Super Bowl performance periodically every once in a while because that's how iconic it was. But there were uh, there have been a quite even out. Look, I want to give credit to J Lo and Shakira. That one, that performance was stellar. You know, they had to share it. But I felt like they executed so well. And part of what I posted about in the separate video where we talk about the dynamics that they had to deal with with Rihanna's Super Bowl was because of the field. They had to have those elevated stages and they had to do the harnesses on elevated stages because of the field and new guidelines by the NFL. So all of that was, you know, they, they were kind of forced to, to make those creative changes. And they did a great job. And then you know what we hate doing? Comparing these, especially black women against each other. And that's not what Frank was doing, but that's where the conversation goes because every time we see a Super Bowl sh a halftime show, everyone thinks about Beyonce and they compare it to Beyonce's because that's how big and epic it was. And honestly, that's not my favorite of all time. I'm not going to say that it's the best, but because uh, so many of you, when we talked about it, you said Prince for me, Michael Jackson for me. And people of, you know, of today were probably like, well, you know, Katy Perry brought out Missy Elliott, Janet Jackson. He pushed Janet Jackson as number two. And she didn't even get to, to finish her performance properly. Honestly, Janet needs a do-over. I know this is not about Janet. But I love the fact that we're talking about him having an opinion. And constantly, anytime someone brings up Beyonce or is critical of Beyonce, it becomes the beehive. And like, oh, hell. Da, da, da. You know, every time I always joke, I hear the buzzing. I hear the buzzing already. I don't care. I don't care. I mean, I agree with the beehive. I don't believe that Rihanna's performance was better than Beyonce's, to be honest with you. But what I love about what he said, you don't have to, to, to give 100 in everything for it to be great. You know what I mean? So I, I like that. And I like that that he he actually responded to people and had the conversation and explained more of it, even though he didn't really have to explain himself. That's his opinion. And we've got to get out of this. We've gotten into this hamster wheel of attacking people for their opinion. If you're new to the channel, you know, or for those that have been here a long time, know everyone is welcome to have their opinion, especially if they share it in a respectful way. And that's exactly what he did. He, he responded to these people in the comments in a respectful, professional, with his professional in years of knowledge. But part of me always thinks, what are you doing? <laughs> Frank, what are you doing? Did you do this on purpose? You know how the beehive is. He's not new to the beehive, but he also probably doesn't care. He's like, I ain't scared of the beehive either. Guys, as always, you know what this leads to. Our own constructive conversation. Who is your top three? Top three. Okay, top five. Super Bowl halftime performances of all time. I will be reading the comments. I want to see who your top five are. I know you're probably asking, who is your top five? Oh, don't make me pick. Let me think about that, and I'll post it in the comment section. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching. Ooh, you bring the lighter. I got the fuse. You make a fire. I'll ask you. Follow my lead.